Okay, okay. So yesterday I made a video about Borg technologies, and from the kind of get go, I am very, very skeptical about the company. Firstly, because the website is the most terrible thing I've ever seen in my life, and secondly, because quite a lot of the aspects of the company just seem a bit off. Now, I might be completely wrong and I've missed kind of the main points about it and maybe it could just be a very poorly designed website that doesn't really explain that well what it does. So today I'm going to have a look at the financial site and see if it actually makes any money. Let us start by having a look at its stock. Now, right now, Borg Technologies is a penny stock and it's trading around 0 0.8 plus per share which isn't exactly that high, so if it made any money, it would be probably a pretty good bargain. Its 52-week range is about $0.81 cents to $3.35, which would be quite a nice increase. It has a market cap of about $77 million, and its earnings per share are minus $0.8 per share. Looking at the graph for today, it's kind of had a small spike and then just leveled off. Five days it's been in a bit of a dip. One month it did actually have significant increase and then it has gradually dropped back down but it's still positive. Over six months though it's in the red having had one kind of big spike by the looks of it in around January, February of 2021. Same kind of for a one year mark where it had kind of steady up until around January, February of 2021. And if we look at it over five years, it kind of was holding quite high, had the massive plummet down, had a nice spike back up, and then ever since then, it's just slowly been uh, dropping back down. Okay, you cannot see this, but this is Borg's financial document, and it's a 20F form, and OBS, which I use to record this uh, stuff, does not really like this document for some reason, but it does highlight the main points. Here we have at the top the revenue for 2018, 2019 and 2020 going from left to right. I think this actually might work quite well because it just has I highlighted what I wanted to look at. Okay, firstly let's actually have a look at their net revenue. So for 2018 they made 128 million. So this is all in thousands. Then in 2019, they made 98.958 million. Then in 2020, they made 26.751 million. So it's not really going in the right direction. So for the gross profit, in 2018, they lost 6 million. In 2019, they made 569,000. And in 2020, they made 1.596 million. Now here come some quite important parts. Operating expenses. So for 2018, they lost 60.825 million, which when you actually look at that as a percentage of their revenue, isn't so bad. 2019, they actually managed to reduce that by almost half while still keeping a good percentage of their net revenue. And in 2020, it all kind of when not so good. So we'll have a look at net income loss from continuing operations, which came to for 2018, 69 million, for 2019, 31 and a half, and for 2020, 36. And finally, looking at their net income loss, for 2018, 72 million, 2019, 35.7 million, and for 2020, 34. Point. Seven. By the looks of things, they had quite a hard time with Rona. So this is their consolidated balance sheet, which is just their balance. And we're just going to have a look at their assets against their liabilities. So for 2019, so they only have 2019 and 2020, they had 56.7 million in assets and 105.5 million in liabilities. 2020, they had, uh, yes, uh, 29.3 million in assets and 91.5 million in liabilities. So for Borg Technologies, the financial side of it isn't actually that strong. And I do think it has had quite a hard time with Corona. But 
just everything packed together i'm yeah it's not really a company that i would look to invest in just because it seems pretty dodgy just because one i'm not 100 percent sure in what it actually offers as a product because i can't see the physical product secondly because it is by the looks of things burning through cash and even though its losses from operation have been quite consistent its net revenue over the past three years has been kind of quite greatly reducing so that is just my opinion on it i hope this video has been informative to you and you got some value out of it and if you do have any points about borg that i missed which i probably have missed quite a bit then let me know in the comment section down below because it's very likely that i probably did miss something and as always do not base any buying or selling decisions on the content of this video this video is not investing advice please do extensive research before you buy any company thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed and i will see you next time